everyone, this is Ansar and you're watching English with Ansar. Let's start today's session. What is classification? Classification means giving the names to all living and non-living things and keeping them in different categories. Why do we do classification? Let me explain you by giving one example. If I ask you one question, what is this? So you will reply, this is a pen. If I ask the same question with anybody from America or from any other country, he or she may give the same answer. This is a pen. This is why because we have named this object as a pen and it is understood by everyone in the world. Now let us see here. Today's session we are going to talk about types of nouns. What is noun? A noun is a, a name of person, place or anything. We gave names to all objects which we use in our day-to-day -day life in order to understand and in order to convey the message, ideas, feelings and thoughts clearly. Let us see here. Nouns are different kinds or types we have. Number one is common noun. What is, what is the meaning of common noun? Common noun, a category which refers to general nouns, non or non-specific nouns, general category of that. Names given, given to the different things or objects. Like example, girl, rose, book and chair. Second thing, proper noun. What is proper noun? Proper noun, name, or uh, it refers to the specific nouns. Specific nouns. Example, Taj Mahal, June, it's a month of, name of month, America, India, and MS Tony. These are the proper nouns. Next one, abstract noun. What is the meaning of abstract noun? Abstract noun refers to qualities of a person, ideas and concept that cannot be seen or experienced. Examples. Examples are here. Hope, love, kindness, truth, happiness, anger and hunger, etc. These are the types of nouns. They are called abstract. Why? Because we cannot experience, we cannot see, we, we cannot see them and we cannot experience. Next, collective noun. Collective noun, a group of people or things. It refers to group of people or things. Like we have here examples, family, team, army, bunch. What is the meaning of family? Family means it consists of more than one person. Maybe father, mother and two children. Maybe father, mother and three children. So all together considered as a one single one family, one word. It refers by one word that is family. Team, example, Indian cricket team is very strong. So team is the word team refers to, you know, group of people, group of players, not one player. So 11 members or 11 players all together considered as a team. Army, Indian army is very strong. Army is also a collective noun. Bunch, a bunch of keys, a bunch of keys, a bunch of graves. So together a bunch is called a collective noun. So these four types are here. More types I will explain to you. So far we have seen common noun, proper noun, abstract noun and collective noun, common noun, non-specific noun, proper noun, specific noun, abstract noun, which we can feel only, we cannot see and we cannot touch. And collective noun is a you know group of name or things together, considered as one. Examples I have given. Now we have here, number fifth is compound noun. Compound noun we can make compound noun using two words together. Like here we have examples, room, mate. Room plus mate is together 
is together is a roommate or considered as a one one word classmate notebook brother in law brother in law we have three words mean more than two words we have here in the word brother in law these are called compound noun one next one is sixth con countable noun six things we can count in numbers things we can count in numbers such type of nouns are called countable nouns and we can use in singular and plural forms example we have here a pen it means it refers to only one pen pens more than one and it is plural a car cars a boy boys a city and cities these are also some examples i have chosen for you next one is uncountable nouns things cannot be counted in numbers and can only be used in singular form opposite to countable noun so we cannot use in singular and plural we cannot use in both singular and plural we can use only in singular form examples are here water milk rice sugar snow we cannot say that i have one water we cannot say that i have one snow so we cannot count in numbers so such type of nouns are uncountable nouns last one is material noun material noun refers to a material from which things are made we make things using the material such type of nouns are called material noun what are they they are here examples are some examples i have chosen here example silver gold iron cotton plastic gold what is gold gold is a material noun silver is material noun. gold is very precious on metal gold is very precious metal in this sentence gold is material noun so i hope you have understood these eight types of different types of nouns thank you for watching my video and more information i am taking ielts classes and spoken english classes also so you can join my classes online classes thank you once again for watching my video thank you one and all